Number three now. There are times where the person that is ministering healing may also need healing. The fact that I'm sick does not hinder me from ministering healing. Abraham was waiting on the Lord for a child. Few chapters before that time, Abraham has, see, had a conversation with God. I said, God, what's up now? Well, you see, you are telling me about covenant. Can't you see that I don't have children? Abraham had not ministered healing to his wife. Abraham was ministering healing to another person's wife. So the fact that the man that wants to minister healing is sick is not an entrance to healing power. Funny enough, let me tell you the truth. Many healing ministers, we find it hard to heal ourselves because we are so familiar with the power. But when it comes to people, it's easy to dispense power. It's easy to say take. It's harder to say take. You know what I'm saying? It's easy to say take because you have two hands to, to receive it. If I say take, I have to use the other hand to receive it. So it's easier for you to take than for me to take. So the fact that a man is sick or a believer is sick does not mean he can't even, Don't say, ah, I'm sick. I can't minister healing to anybody. Let God heal me first. No error. You can. It's never an hindrance. And don't deny people of healing that is in your hand as a believer. I told you every believer can heal the sick because you feel you are inadequate. Or because you feel that you are still sick in your body. No. Or you are still praying for healing in one particular area. No, 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 no. 